The History of the Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan The Colossal Titan is one of the nine titans and serves as the primary antagonist of the first three seasons of the Attack on Titan series. This titan is notable for its massive size and significant control over the steam emitted by its titan body, along with the user's control over the power of the blast released by its transformation. It's currently in the possession of Armin Arlelt. The Colossal Titan first appeared in the year 845 during the fall of Wal Maria and later re-emerged in 850 at Tross District. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the history of the Colossal Titan. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background The Colossal Titan, like all nine titans, was brought into the world after the death of Emir Fritz. In the 1700 years following her death, the Colossal Titan was held in the possession of one or several of the warring Eldian houses subservient to the founding titan. After these 17 centuries, when Karl Fritz, the 145th king of the Fritz family, abandoned the conflicts of Eldia and relocated to Paradise Island, the Colossal Titan was taken by the nation of Marley during the Great Titan War. In the year 843, Berthold Hoover was chosen to inherit the power of the Colossal Titan. He would later make use of his Titan form in a war between Marley and an enemy nation, using his Colossal Titan to destroy a city containing enemy troops in a sneak attack after the Cart Titan placed him in position. In the year 845, the nation of Marley sent out Bertholdt, Reiner Braun, Annie Leonhardt, and Marcel Galliard across the sea to Paradise Island as the start of the Paradise Island operation. The Fall of Shinganshina Arc the Colossal Titan makes its first appearance outside Wall Maria when Bertholdt transforms outside the Southern Gate, terrorizing the population of Shiganshina and kicking a hole in the Southern Gate. It allows the pure titans wandering outside to enter Shiganshina, where they begin to feast on its many inhabitants, including Karla Jaeger. Bertholdt joined his fellow surviving warriors in entering the walled territory during the chaos. The Struggle for Trost Arc the Colossal Titan reappears five years later in the year 850 after the fall of Wall Maria, breaching Wall Rose after Bertholdt transforms outside of the south gate of Trost District so the Titans can once again devour the humans inside. Before he can escape, his Colossal Titan is confronted by Eren Jaeger seeking vengeance. Eren attempts to strike at the Colossal Titan's nape, but Bertholdt makes use of his steam emission control and prevents Eren from getting close. As Eren fights against Bertholdt's steam and comes in for the killing blow, the Colossal Titan vanishes instantaneously. As Eren attempts to comprehend the situation, Bertholdt escapes under the cover of his Titan's steam using his omnidirectional mobility gear. This attack prompts the garrison to enact the Colossal Titan contingency plan for Trost District. Clash of the Titan's Arc Due to the discovery of Eren's possession of the Attack Titan, the warriors postponed their plan to destroy the walls and instead focus on capturing him, whom they believe also possesses the Founding Titan. When Reiner, in a moment of exhaustion and desperation, reveals himself to be the Armored Titan and exposes Bertholdt as the Colossal Titan, the two transform into their Titan forms and battle against the Scout Regiment. As Reiner's armored titan battles Eren's titan, Bertholdt fights against the scouts with a partially transformed colossal titan. When the soldiers led by Hanji Zoe are ready to land a killing blow, Bertholdt once more uses his steam emission control to keep them all at a distance, and their ODM gear is unable to reach him in the continuous gusts of wind. Bertholdt's colossal titan remains in this state of emission for a short time until Reiner faces imminent defeat in his struggle against Eren and calls for help. Hearing Reiner's signal, Bertholdt falls to the ground below. This causes a destructive explosion below, with the Colossal Titan evaporating in a gush of steam. Bertholdt leaves his Titan and joins up with Reiner, who had managed to capture Eren and Ymir in the chaos. Return to Shiganshina Arc The warriors fail in capturing Eren and later flee to the ruins of Shiganshina District. For some months, Bertholdt presumably does not use his Colossal Titan until the Battle of Shiganshina District, where he prepares to transform into his Titan above the district in order to destroy the city. However, his plan is stopped shortly after seeing Reiner alive and in peril, and he transforms at a later time after speaking with his former comrades. 
The blast from his transformation engulfs nearly all of the scouts within Shinganshina and levels the central portion of the district, creating a mushroom cloud. As the colossal titan, Bertholdt begins setting fire to the houses of Shiganshina with his titan's heat and sends these structures soaring through the air, bringing great devastation to the town. Eren attempts to attack the colossal, but his attempt is short-lived when he's kicked to the top of Wall Maria. Squad Levi attempts to attack Bertholdt with their thunder spears, but the colossal's steam emission keeps them away. However, at this time, Armin Arlelt notices the loss of muscle mass brought on by each steam blast, and formulates a plan to defeat Bertholdt. Armin brings Eren back to consciousness and informs him of his plan to defeat Bertholdt. Knowing his ODM gear will not stay attached to the Colossal's evaporating flesh, Armin grapples to the teeth of the Titan as Eren collapses to the ground below. Wanting to kill Armin quickly, Berthold emits a huge amount of burning steam at him, scorching him alive until he can no longer remain grappled to his Titan. Armin collapses to the ground below, and Bertholdt turns his attention to Eren. He notices too late that Eren's titan on the ground below is in fact merely its hardened shell, and in the moment of vulnerability, Eren in his human form strikes at the colossal titan, pulling Bertholdt from its nape as the colossal titan collapses in defeat. On the rooftops of Shinganshina, the surviving members of the scout regiment are left with the choice of using a titan injection in their possession to save either Armin or Commander Erwin Smith from the brink of death. The choice is left to Captain Levi, and after some hesitation, he chooses to save Armin's life. As a pure titan, Armin grabs Bertholdt as he comes back into consciousness and begs for his life. His cries go unheard, and Bertholdt is eaten alive by Armin's titan, who inherits the colossal titan power. Marley Arc Through the years 851 to 854, the nation of Marley sent a total of 32 scouting ships to Paradise Island, all of which ended up missing. The Colossal Titan, along with the Attack Titan, assists in this by capturing ships and transforming near or directly above them and forcing their crews to jump overboard, after they've been lured into close proximity by Yelena and Onyakopon. During the raid on Liberio, Armin Arlelt awaits at the shore of Marley in a fishing boat. As Marley's naval forces rally to provide reinforcements to the city's internment zone, who are taking heavy losses due to the scout regiment's attacks, they quickly spot Armin and order him back to shore only to realize his true identity when he removes his hood. He stares at them and transforms into his colossal titan. The blast destroys the Marlian warships and sends devastating explosive energy surging inland into the streets of Liberio. After destroying the harbor, the colossal titan steps on all the ships to ensure that they have been completely destroyed. Armin then emerges from the titan's nape and looks down at the carnage caused by the transformation, and flies up using his anti-personnel omnidirectional mobility gear to a nearby scout regiment airship. Abilities Explosive Transformation Although all titans generate enormous amounts of heat and energy while transforming, the colossal titan takes this to the next level. Its holder can control the energy produced during their transformation to create various effects. For instance, when Bertholdt Hoover attacked Trost, his transformation only caused a wind blast, which knocked some cadets over the wall. However, during the Battle of Shinganshina District, Bertholdt released an amount of energy akin to a small nuclear device, which ravaged part of the district and set the surrounding area on fire, along with killing a great number of scout regiment soldiers. In addition, the explosive energy released from the transformation created a massive mushroom cloud of dust and rubble. Armin Arlelt also uses this ability to wipe out most of, if not all, the Marlian naval fleet present at the raid on Liberio in a devastating explosion, sending a tremendous wave of energy inland and destroying the port entirely. Abilities Immense Size As its name suggests, the Colossal Titan is infamous for its incredible size, standing at a previously unseen 60 meters, high enough to peer over the top of the walls. Its body mass gives it overwhelming physical strength, but to compensate for this, its immense size makes its movement very slow. It's strong enough to destroy the outer gate of Wall Maria with a single kick, launch entire houses into the air, and send Eren's attack titan flying from the ground to the top of Wall Maria. It's to be noted that the arms are massively disproportionate in size to the rest of the body, likely resulting in less strength than the legs. Armin also uses the Colossal Titan's massive strength and size to ensure the destruction of the Marlian ships and naval port by stepping on them after his transformation. Abilities Steam Emission The unique ability possessed by the Colossal Titan appears to be significant control over the amounts of steam emitted by the Titan form. 
In normal circumstances, titans emit steam from their wounds, and their bodies evaporate completely into steam after receiving a killing blow. The Colossal Titan is capable of emitting great amounts of steam at will in order to prevent anyone from reaching its nape. This power can be used for a variety of purposes. By emitting immense amounts of steam at once, the pressure and force of the steam will burn and repel any individuals in proximity to the Colossal Titan that are not fixed in place. And if they are fixed to him, they will be constantly scorched by the incredible heat at the Titan's mercy. However, if used frequently, it takes a toll on the Titan by gradually decreasing its muscle mass until only the skeletal structure remains. In some cases when it's necessary, the Colossal Titan is capable of evaporating its entire body at once, disappearing instantly. This puts the user in a position of great vulnerability with no way of preventing a fall from great height where the Titan form once was. However, this disadvantage can be alleviated if the user is wearing ODM gear. This was seen after the Colossal Titan appeared in Trust, and in order to prevent Eren Jaeger from reaching its nape, a large quality of steam was released, which allowed Bertholdt to climb down the wall using the 3D maneuvering gear. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.